know what do you know what makes you wifey material? Me wifey? Yeah. Everything. Everything? Yeah. What, explain, what's everything? I'm loyal. What make, this is my wife. What makes me wifey? What, make, what makes her wifey material? That fat you got. For real, turn around, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, give us a no. Three. Can we have a 360? Can you give us a 360? It's flat out, girl. <laughs> flat in. Come on, you gotta get a spicy one. You want a spicy one? Yeah. What's one What's one move in bed that make a man go crazy every time? One what? What's one move in bed that make that makes a man go crazy every time? That you do. That I do? Yeah. That makes a man go crazy every time. It does not reply. In bed, Haley. Oh. <laughs> this is for her. What? You what's, gotta answer this. You got it. What's one move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time? Oh, you, you gotta give him that hawk too and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get you. I think you got to uh, demonstrate. Hawk to it. Spit no, like, on it. Spit on it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mongolia Mindset, and today we're going to be typing the infamous Hawk to a girl. Um, we'll be using Linda Barron's interaction styles and temperament combined with cognitive functions. Uh, we do have those broken down on the channel. You can go and watch those videos. It's in the playlist, How to Find Anyone's Personality Type. I do think they're by far the best. You can also look at the playlist, um, Cognitive Functions. I have each of the Cognitive Functions breaking, broken down very thoroughly. So even if you're blind, deaf, and dumb, you will walk away with some type of understanding. Um, she's not on Personality Database, so we can't compare with that. Um, so we'll just get right into it, okay? Uh, we have our metrics over here, and um, we'll be knocking them down as we go. Um, we did conclude our, ga uh, our game night. You know, we're doing that once a month. Uh, it was Team Mercer versus Team Gloria. It was a very hard battle. Um, we ended up clutching out the victory. Avery came in clutch like Michael Jordan at the end. Uh, game six, uh, Nymeria was winning. And uh, and um, Avery, you know, got the last victory for us. So we did end that 4-3. And Avery it will be title MVP. She'll get an MVP role in the Discord. And all the people that play will get, on my team, will get uh, a role as well. Um, and we'll be doing that once a month. So if you want to be part of that, you want to join our Discord, uh, there will be a link in the description to join our Discord. Um, also, if you want to be typed by us, I do think we are the best at typing people at this point. Um, you have to join our Discord as well and just go to the channel, request a typing, um, request a, a typing, and then we'll get back to you with our availability. But let's get into this infamous hop to a girl. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut. I have someone that was harder to track down than Osama bin Laden. <laughs> podcast ever first anything ever yes ma'am oh my gosh how do you feel are you nervous i'm a little nervous <laughs> she's a little nervous she was scared coming in but she wanted to come on a podcast that was with a woman first so i'm like so grateful it was me and that you chose to come on this one yes ma'am we have a lot to like get into everyone has been searching for you i feel like there's been millions of fake accounts that okay so this woman right here is direct I fell for because I was trying to find you like two weeks oh, ago. Yeah. <laughs> so they're everywhere. And then there was like an account of your merch, but it wasn't, it was like you signing hats. Is that well, your account? Well, it's not really my account, but the guy that I let do hats for me, he was kind enough to ask if he could sell them like in my hometown. And so I was okay oh, with okay. it. Okay. He was kind enough to ask and he's just been great to me. He's absolutely great. I've known him for years and he split all what he's made off of it with me, and he he's just split all what he's made off of it with me. Talking about what she gets out of the situation here, I'm gonna go ahead and slap her for interest there. Just went out of his way, just be good to me. So he's been really okay. Good so that's about a good it. guy because I know there's oh, yeah. a lot of people stealing your merch and making money oh, yeah. off of you now. But he's good as gold. Okay. I couldn't ask for better. Amazing. But did you delete all of your social media? Okay, so I deleted all my social media like six months ago due to like personal reasons. I never really got on it or anything like that. Oh, okay. But 
So it didn't have anything to do with this. Oh no, I was long gone before that. Oh, so <laughs> you were you were already gone from social oh, media, yeah. and everyone thought that oh, you deleted yeah. your social media because you were like scared of all of this blowing up. But you were yeah. gone. I've been gone from it. So like, are, just are you going to come back? Purpose. I think we're working on that right now. Because <laughs> you but. have a full management team. You have a manager now. Oh, you have yeah. a shooter. She comes in with, like, this big-ass camera. Like, she's a real deal <laughs> already. This happened, like, a week ago. Yes, ma'am. This is insane. Okay, so I want to I want to know everything about you, but I want to go back to the day, the night of it all, the hook to a video. <laughs> Where were you? What did it happen? Were you on Nashville? Like, on I Broadway? was in Nashville. <laughs> okay, and you were just out drinking, having a good night. Oh, yeah. You come out. CMA Fest, right after it. <laughs> and, I done held a big ass snake. And then, next thing I know, there's a microphone in my face. And I was like, ah! Big ass snake. Okay. Um, um, slapper for pragmatic. Oh, I'm going to conversate with him. But you looked like so natural. Like you weren't scared. You just went right up to it. I could talk to a brick wall if you really let me. <laughs> I could talk to a brick wall if you really let me. Uh, that sounds like some. Talking ass motherfucker. Looking like we got an ESFP here. Okay, ESFP. I could tell. <laughs> it's amazing. So you went up, and did you think anything was, like, going to come from it? Was there more of the no. interview? Hey, I think he posted the full video on YouTube this past Sunday. But he only told us he was a YouTuber. He never said anything, like, about, you know, Instagram, TikTok, nothing mm -hmm. of the sort. So I was like, oh, well, I'm never going to see this again. Sure enough, I seen it again. <laughs> when did you see it again? Like, when did it blow up? So that was Sunday. I seen it about the Tuesday after that. Uh -huh. I should have broke. I seen it, like, 2 o'clock in the morning when I was getting up ready for work. I should have broke. <laughs> oh my god 2 a.m getting up for work oh, yeah wait what were you doing for your job well i have to sit up and get ready for about 30 minutes and then i'll just go on and go get me something to eat for breakfast and then i'll go on to work but i worked in a spring factory i'm not a school teacher that was my next question because <laughs> everyone bartender. said that you were a teacher and got fired from your job no i'm not even old enough to be a teacher i was gonna say because you're 21 i'm like How, this is illegal who exactly. are you teaching <laughs> exactly so you were yeah. a teacher or a bartender so Either one. Ever, and also i've heard rumors that your dad is a preacher my father is so far from a preacher. It's crazy. <laughs> so everything has just offended. been made up. Oh, yeah. Like, okay. none of it's true at all. Okay. So this video goes viral. You see it. And when you first see it, is it, like, millions of views? Like, are you officially the hot tour girl? Or you see it and you're like, maybe this won't be yeah. so big? Yeah. It was massive? It was massive. Okay. What We're goes through that. your head when that happens? I was like, oh, well, this is kind of funny. I was like, it's not going to get any bigger than this. And I go back, like, an hour later and the views don't went up by, like, a million. I was like... Oh my God, there is no way that just happened. But <laughs> sure enough, it did. <laughs> yeah, and then it kept going and kept going. And then there was the search for you. Yeah. And what, like, what did you want to do when there was a search? Was there a part of you that was like, I don't want to be known as the hook to a girl? Yeah, there was a big part of it. And then they started spelling my name wrong and making like accounts of me, mm -hmm. which they got pictures off all my friends, like social medias and stuff like that. And which it's, it's kind of creepy no, seeing your face on another account that don't belong to you. You're like... Yeah, people thought your name <laughs> was Jillian. I saw a bunch of people were getting, like, recognized as you, but oh, yeah. it wasn't you. Nope. It was wild. So when they officially found you, were you like, I want to dive into this or I want to take a step back? I was like, oh, shit. I'm not adding these people back. The first thing they found me on was Visco, so I got rid of it really quick. Because who, who the hell gets on Visco? <laughs> yeah, that's from, like, And middle then school. they started sending me messages on there, and I was like, that's disgusting. So I deleted it. And got rid of everything on there. And I think they got a few pictures off before I deleted it. But uh -huh. everything else, I was like, well, they're not going to find my Snapchat. Sure enough, they did. They Evidently, it. it's been sold. But Oh, okay. And then after they found you, were you like, what do your parents think? Or your family think? They think it's so funny. <laughs> okay, so they're in on they it. They know how I am, though. Because, like, you can never tell what comes out of my mouth. I'm you can never tell what comes out of my mouth. Pragmatic. I mean, it's a hit or a miss what comes out of my mouth. I yeah. just talk out of my mouth. Oh, that was a hit. Uh, I just yeah, talked that, out of my ass. Pragmatic. Okay, we know who's from pragmatic. That time it was. <laughs> the one time I say something like that, of course, there's a camera in my face. <laughs> it's like the biggest thing ever. But I've also seen like a lot of controversy surrounding it. People oh, yeah. feeling bad for you that it, like you've gotten turned into the hook to a girl. And yeah. like kind of like, I don't know. It, it's kind of creep. Like do creepy guys message you? Is it? scary are yes. you like what the fuck did so, i do the guy that does my hats he got offered six hundred dollars like three days ago for me to spit in a jar and <gasps> sell it that is revolting 
Like, oh that's just disgusting, gosh. is it not? That's crazy. <laughs> and I was like, should I do it? And I was like, no. You I'll should not do just that. like pour water in it. Yeah, that would never send know. It. Yeah. But. <laughs> that's like the OnlyFans girls that fart in jars. And sell it. And sell them. But they're Precisely. not actually farting in jars. Yeah, or they're dirty drawers. That's yeah. just disgusting. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder, like, I bet there's a lot of creeps that are trying to like message you yeah. and be around you and stuff. But also, I think majority of people just think it's a, in a hilarious meme. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm just like, what do you do now? Because now you have management. Now you have a team. What are your plans moving forward? Like, do you want to still be the hook to a girl? Or do you want to, like... I don't really want it? that to be, like, my image. Yeah. Like, hot to a girl. <laughs> I just... I don't see that being, like, a my thing. thing. You know? Yeah, I don't want to be known as that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's funny. And you're also only 21, so you yeah. kind of said something silly. And I think half of the internet also is on your side with that, where it's oh, yeah. like... You're out drinking after a night with your oh, friends. Yeah. You get asked, what is something crazy you do in bed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was funny. I was being a little bit of a smart ass, too. Cause, yeah. Like, you're going to come up to me with a microphone and ask me something like that? Oh, well, I'm going to hot to and spit <laughs> on it, you know? I don't mean nothing by it. Yeah, you were. Pragmatic. I don't mean nothing by it. Informative. Okay. <sighs> Okay, woman's pregnant. Oh no. Oh no. We do not want that. Why is it giving me that? Okay, so we got pragmatic here. Woman's obviously pragmatic and she's informative. And if someone's pragmatic and informative, you either got an NTP or SFP. Okay. Um, but she's an SCNI user as well. Um, so we got an SFP. We'll go back. Or like actually being serious. Oh, yeah. You were just joking. Yeah. That's and your friend your friend was there with you. Yes, ma'am, she was. And she's here. Do we want to ask her about it too? Do you want to bring her on? Jesse, you wanna come on? What did you think about the video going viral? Honestly, I forgot we even did it. Like I did too. <laughs> we woke up the next day, and when I seen it, I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Because I hate watching myself drunk in general. <laughs> like, Me too. Videos, oh my god! It's the worst. Did you talk in like the rest of the interview? Because I've only seen that little clip of like. Yes, I did. To... Okay. And did you say anything that you wish you didn't no, say? No, which I wasn't prepared for those kind of questions. So like, I don't think anybody was. Yeah. <laughs> like I wasn't in the right mind, but I knew what I was saying. You know, so yeah. I made sure to keep it like. Because it was getting somebody a little smarter. Go just out in there. case. Yeah. yeah. And you were just like, fuck it. I just said, I don't give a fuck where it went. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Pragmatic. So, like I was saying before, what what do you think she should do now? Like, do you think she should just take full advantage of oh, it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like, yeah. I love her personality and the fact that the world gets to see it. And they obviously love it too. So I think she should just and keep the going. accent. The accent is so good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're you. like lovable. It's so funny. And if you watch the whole rest of the interview too, it was more oh, yeah. than just that. And you can tell I'm obviously joking in it. Like, yeah, I don't mean nothing by it. Yeah, and but. you're laughing immediately. And then you said, "Spin on." Have you heard like the remixes of the songs that people make? Okay, but the country song, hear me out. That shit is fire. I know <laughs> I a lot of them are are good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good. So like after blowing up like this, is your life immediately changed? Wonderful to see like the e ESFPs are just really so authentically themselves and they don't care about faking to be somebody they're not it's, you know it's kind of cool it's kind of nice to see it kind of refreshing because when actually did this start oh yeah when was this the was like three weeks ago maybe mm -hmm. three weeks ago and yeah. now like you dropped out of school oh no I was working oh so you had already dropped out of school oh yeah okay I've been dropped out of school for like a year or two okay so this was like your I don't quit my job I said peace <laughs> <laughs> so now is like you're gonna I didn't quit my job I said peace go to LA you're gonna go to New York oh yeah do you think you see yourself like starting your own type of like show or podcast or are you just gonna be like an internet personality I think we're gonna do like a show and then we're just gonna be like on a bunch of podcasts and everything else in between Cool. Yeah. So kind of just figuring out as you go. Oh yeah, there's more to come. Don't worry. There's oh, well, more. Yeah. Figuring it out as you, as you go. Okay, uh, that's progression. She called her out. This woman here, I am getting direct T E F I. Um, 
definitely looking towards ESTJ, INTJ, or ISTJ. She's not an ENTJ. Um, this woman here, whoo, if I had to put my money on it, I would fucking go INTJ. Yeah. She has the whole team. Over. It's right. so crazy. It happened. The internet is insane. Your oh, life yeah. changed overnight. It really did. Yeah. For sure. Are, are people coming out of the woodworks now? Like, what are your friends back home like? Are they treating you differently? Are they, like, being bitches about it? Or are they... Yeah, like, how direct that woman is versus Hawk Tool? Really supportive. Oh, like, good. I've had maybe one or two that have had some nasty comments about it because the, the comments I've got from it, I don't even know these people, but I know they're, like, from my area. Mm -hmm. But all the mamas and all my friends and everything else that know me personally, they've attacked that ass. Let me just tell you. <laughs> it's just been, I couldn't, I can't even tell you. So everyone's loving it. Oh, yeah. Where great. where are you from? Like, where did you grow up? The T F I T child. You I grew up in about. Belfast, Tennessee. Okay. I've lived there for 20 years, and that's just. Are you like I'm super from. country? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can tell by the voice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you guys grow up together? We went to high school together. Yeah. Okay. So, about six or seven years we've yeah. been friends. Would it's you, been a while. Would you ever try to take her into the storm with you and, like, be an influencer <laughs> with her now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why don't you for do sure. it? You guys could be the hawk to a duo. Yeah, I got hot <laughs> friend over here. <laughs> we could. I'm terrified. <laughs> yeah, I know. You guys are so nervous. It's I'm, a lot. It but, is. And I know there's going to be negative comments because that's just how the world works. But mm -hmm. I don't really let it get to me either. I got to thinking. I was like, the people that are out here hating, I don't even. Mm, she's interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm between two types of her. No. So what the fuck do I care? Yeah, good thing that you have that mentality already oh, yeah. because it's going to come with so much hate. But oh, like yeah. you just said, you don't know them. And even the ones that you do know, they like know you and it's embarrassing that they're commenting oh this yeah stuff. oh yeah yeah <laughs> it's funny um i have a game that i want to play with you guys what is that it? makes me nervous <laughs> it's, no, it's not that scary i promise it's called huck to a or nah and you tell me if you want to hook to on that thing or no okay 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 <laughs> okay first person are you ready be careful her friend Zach is clearly Fox. responding her friend is clearly responding here fine answer politically <laughs> I love you, but I love you, but hot <laughs> Okay, all right, Antonio Brown. Who's that? Oh, I thought you were gonna he know who he was. Player? Yeah. I don't really know what he looks like. Okay. I'm gonna have to say but no. I just, I just no. know what it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. I just know because if he saw it, he would post it on Twitter, and I was hoping that oh, you guys would say hot. Sorry. So <laughs> well, if I knew you, they said no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Morgan Wallen. Hot to. Uh. Hawk to for sure. For sure. She just hawk. You're hawk to. Oh, yeah, I'm just hawk. Maybe just to. I don't know. Okay, Dave Portnoy. Know who that is? <laughs> yes, you don't yes, know who he I is? I do. You do. No, I'm so, I'm so glad you don't know who he is. This is funny. <laughs> oh, he's going to hate you. <laughs> um, if I knew what he looked like, maybe. He's, I'm going to say hawk just so what's he, he looks like. Me. Do you want me to show you a picture? Yes, I need a picture. Okay. He kind of looks like Mark Zuckerberg. Um. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for y'all INTJs out there, but y'all just got killed. You INTJ males, listen to this. Okay. He kind of looks like Mark Zuckerberg. Um. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. Kill the poor old INTJs out there, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. My phone's not going to load in here. You need to see a picture of him. I. <laughs> Oh, fuck. My phone's not going to load in here. Well, you need to see a picture of him. Here. I think you might. Are you in? Okay. She's just fucking ESFP, man. Um, so ESFP. Me and ESFP. Okay. You know. I don't really think she's. This is hard one for so little information here. She's ESFP. Um, man, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go creative. I think that's probably would make it the most sense here. Um, between creative and normalizing. Don't think she's dominant, obviously. Um, uh, 
Um, ranking wise, I just call her average ESFP, man. She's, she, you know, I could even go below average to be honest. Um, Enneagram here, she's not a one, she's not a three, she's not a four, she's obviously not a five, she's not a six, most likely a fucking seven, um, not an eight. Not a nine, clearly. So we only really have a seven here. Okay. So. Okay, we're here seven. Seven W eight. Um. Uh, I hate Instagram, but. Your SO, man. SO. Slash ESX. Um, that's where we're going with it. We're going ESFP here, and ESFPs are initiating. Okay, um, these are extroverted. Um, they're concrete, so they care about the what is, um, not abstract things like the future, um, theories, uh intangible things um they interest so they like things to they like to know what they get out of a situation um that makes them feel a lot more comfortable they're not looking at the structure of the system behind things or trying to implement structures or systems into things uh they're pragmatic so they're gonna have a focus on what works versus what's right um she's informative so she's beating around the bush kind of like passive um not really commanding or taking like you know uh, her role in the conversation and she's journey focused so life to her is about a journey versus outcomes okay um, she's se heavy okay se heavy uh, and i is on a uh, tent on an axis with um ni se is on the axis with ni so that as well and then she's a tfi user okay um, there's no ti there there's none none dead that's a dead zone okay um, so we got it as an ESFP, okay, um, that makes the most sense here. Um, it's fun to do her. Um, comment below what you thought her type was, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's not too fucking hard to guess. And I'm probably happy the INTJs are like, oh, she's not an INTJ. That would have been hilarious. But this is Mongolia Mindset, and we are out. And see you guys on the next game day, game night.